Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, we are going to talk about the best operating system for Raspberry Pi. So let's do it. First of all, I'll take you to the official website of the First of all, I'll take you to the official website of the operating system and uh, to open it, let's just go ahead and open the Chromium web browser and the name of the operating system is Twister OS. We need to type Twister OS, otherwise you will find these results. So here we are on the Twister OS screen and as you can see, there is a beautiful theme in front of you, but this is not it you will find lots of other themes available in this operating system like the windows xp windows 98 windows 2000 and other themes as well so you can find everything right here and you will have also a mac operating system theme so to download this operating system you need to click on download and then just go and click on twister os for raspberry pi 4 and that will download this particular operating system I have already downloaded this OS and the drill is same you just need to write the image using the tool Raspberry Pi Imager and choose the operating system use system and let's just go ahead and click on download and here is the version of Twister OS you can use this one and then open and write it down to your SD card as simple as that choose your SD card and write it down and that will be it now let me just go ahead and take you to the twister OS screen and show you how it work now you can see the beautiful twister OS screen that resembles to Mac OS and from the top left corner you can see theme twister now I'll show you how this operating system is the best operating system for Raspberry Pi 4 and why I like this operating system so much. So first of all let us go ahead and click on this theme twister and see what's going on. So when we open this theme twister just go ahead and click on next. Now from here you can choose any theme of your choice. So there are themes for uh, Windows XP and there is a theme for Nighthawk that is almost like Windows 10 and there is also one theme iRaspbian so I'm using the dark theme and this one is the light theme iRaspbian light you can also change to iRaspbian X sorry the Raspbian X so let's just select any theme from here and then see what will happen so when I select the theme it starts changing its color and you can see it's completely changed the desktop experience as well now when we hit enter it will reboot the machine and you will see the new theme in front of you so let's just go ahead and do that so whenever you change your theme the system will reboot and give you a fresh look of your raspberry pi uh, whenever you select a new theme so it will take a moment and you will see the screen in front of you Now the theme is completely changed and as you can see on the bottom we have some icons for Windows and Outlook and Excel and everything. So there are apps pre-installed in this operating system. So for uh, this office package we have LibreOffice already installed in that system. So let's just go ahead and try to open one app. Let's try the word icon. So you can see the word is in front of you it's pre-installed now we'll move to the next step now there is one more interesting icon in front of you is this my android so what this app will do this will show your phone screen in front of you on your raspberry pi directly so how this app will work i'll show you you need to connect your phone to the raspberry pi and uh, let's just double click on it it will not work 
but you need to connect the phone first. So let me just go ahead and connect the phone to my Pi and then show you the screen how it work. On your phone, what do you need to do? You need to enable the USB debugging to make this software work on your computer. So I'm connecting my phone now and the phone is connected. Now let's just go ahead and double click on my Android. So you need to connect your phone with USB debugging turned on and you can see these options will be selected like this device and no data transfer. And this is it. You can see that I have my screen on and I can work from here. And let's just see whether the portrait mode is also working or not. Sorry, the landscape mode. So as you can see, the landscape is also working. Okay, my cable connection is a little bit loose, not working correctly. So you just have to connect the phone and double click on this icon, my Android, and you will see your phone in front of you. And as you can see, it's uh, on the full screen. You can just go ahead and make it as full screen as well by using this software. You can use your phone or through your Raspberry Pi. Now you can see your phone and you can stream your content directly here. So let's just go ahead and close it. Now let me just go ahead and show you the next icon here on this operating system. Let me just go ahead and disconnect my phone. Now the next icon is RetroPie. As you can see, we have a operating system dedicated for RetroPie, but in Twister OS, we have this dedicated icon for RetroPie that we can use. And through that, we can play our games directly from here. We don't have to install a separate operating system. We can directly use it, use our RetroPie from here. As you can see, it started. You can configure everything here and uh, you can start using right from Twister OS. So let's just go ahead and quit from here. And the next icon is stream. And that is also here that you can use. And as you can see, I never use stream, but uh, for those who use stream, they know better than me how they can use this icon and how they can use their Raspberry Pi to use this icon for their gameplay. So let's just uh, leave it as it is. Uh, and now I'll show you the next icon that is uh, really interesting. Lots of people ask me about it. Uh, how we can go ahead and uh, overclock our Pi. So this option is right here. That is safest option to overclock your Raspberry Pi with the GUI interface. As you can see right here. So this software that is Commander Pi will give you all the options that can help you and that can overclock your Raspberry Pi 4. This software will also giving you details about your CPU, your bootloader, your network and it will help you to overclock the machine as well. Now let me just go ahead and show you how you can go ahead and overclock the system as well. It's updating some files on stream I believe so. So let's just uh, leave it as it is and click on overclock okay. So once I click on overclock, this says overclocking is only for advanced user. Do it on your own risks. So uh, why they are saying this? I also recommend you to please use a cooling system before doing any kind of overclocking on your Pi. It might damage your Pi or you might lose your SD card as well. So let's just click on OK and show you. So this software is also giving you values, which one is the recommended and which one is the maximum. So uh, we are going to do it on the recommended levels. So you can see right here, GPU speed is around 2000 GPU. Uh, sorry, CPU speed is around 2000 GPU speed around 600 and the voltage adjustment is around six. So how you can go ahead and do that is just really simple. Click here and type the values like 2000 and then click on set so the value is set here 
and you can see the maximum value on the right side that is 2147 706 so let's just click on the bottom one and type 600 and set the value then 6 and set the value as well now this is also done what we need to do is just click on apply and reboot now let's just go ahead and click on yes uh, to reboot the machine so you can see that the operating system rebooted successfully and we have overclocked our machine to 2 gigahertz that is uh, like 2000 megahertz and also we have upgraded our gpu uh, overclocked our gpu sorry now uh, only the thing that left here is this readme and this last software that is the trish so let's just go ahead and open this one as well so you can see there are some games available here inside this particular software you can go ahead and use the games directly from this particular software there is cs2d minecraft pi as well available in the software previously they have minecraft dedicated icon on the screen but now they put it inside this particular software so you can go ahead and start exploring the system there is lots of other options as well that i didn't cover in this video because it that might take lots of time so just go ahead and explore this particular operating system tell me about anything you find special about this operating system inside comment section and that's it for today if you like my work please hit the like button subscribe to my channel share this video with your family and friends press the bell notification for my latest videos thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day